Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I'm Chucky2009 and I make welding videos. So I've had a handful of people ask me, Stretch, what are your thoughts on using a stick welder to cut metal with? And I'm like, well, I don't really have a whole lot of thoughts, but it'll be a cool video idea, so I'll see what I can put together. And so, we're going to try a few things out today. I picked up some of these 332nd inch cutting slash chamfering electrodes. They're, uh, they're Hobarts, they're from Tractor Supply. And they're pretty dang expensive. You get four electrodes for $8 or $7.99, I guess, if you want to be technical about it. Uh, we're going to give these a shot. Who knows, if they work really well, they might be worth the cost. And this is something that uh, a couple of viewers have actually requested I try. These are 6011 soaked in water. They've been sitting here soaking for a couple days. And uh, they don't look a lot different. There's obviously a lot less dusty where they've been underwater. But flux kind of rubs off a little bit. Overall, they look about the same. And this is kind of cool because it's ironic. I mean, these plastic boxes are more or less designed to keep electrodes dry, and yet I'm using them to soak mine. But we got three 32nd inch and 8th inch electrodes there. I've got the same things here, you know, dry though, so we're gonna we're gonna try that out too. And this is the plate we're gonna be using. I've got some 14 gauge sheet metal here. Let's try that. Some three three sixteenths and some three eighths over here. And we're gonna be running this off the precision TIG. I got it set to 225 amps because a number of people that have asked me about this have AC225 stick welders, so it just seems kind of fitting. We're going to be running ours on DC electrode positive though. And with that being said, let's start with the dry electrodes just to get going. Look at all this smoke, YouTube! You know, I have welded in here just 7018 after 7018 after 7018. I've even done flux core and it's not nearly this smoky. And keep in mind, you guys, this is from two electrodes. I only got their two electrodes here, I think. Yeah, I started with three, one left. I only burned two electrodes and this whole garage is just filled with smoke. I don't know if the camera's really doing that justice. But let me show y'all how this turned out. This is the 14 gauge. As y'all saw, you know, I just started, this metal just started melting away, just disappearing. 3 sixteenths, a little bit trickier, but overall more of the same. And this is the 3 A's. This was pretty messy. I tried it once, you know, uh, here. I tried it once along here, but the camera didn't focus, so I tried it again. And then I ran out of electrode right here, and instead of finishing this up like I really should have, I decided I'd leave it just so I could show you guys a little bit better what the cut looks like. And uh, the way I cut this 3 ace plate is I'd start, I'd arc up here and let a big, messy, crazy puddle form. Then I just jab the electrode down through there and push the puddle out. Form, jab, form, jab, form, jab. Well, actually, that was jab, no more electrode, so I stopped. But uh, it is a messy cut, but we definitely went through this stuff. All right, I think I might shelve the, uh, the 332nd inch electrode idea just because there's probably not going to be a whole lot of difference. But we are going to try these uh, wet rods. So let's do it. Okay, guys, so I've gone ahead. I opened up the other door and all the windows in this garage. And I started to start to set out in here a little bit. Which is so much, so much smoke. Anyway, this is wet 6011, take one. I hope this doesn't electrocute me or anything, but if it does, you guys better like this video. Come on, stay lit. Alright, so I'm going to keep it lit on the 14 gauge, so just for the heck of it, I'm going to try it on this uh, 316 here. 
That's a little bit better. This still isn't all that practical though. So I just tried running that wet 6011 and uh, looks like the electrode is kind of baking there as we go. Looks a little bit funky. But anyway, what I found is that using a wet electrode really isn't any better than using a dry electrode. On really thin stuff, I could not keep that arc lit for any period of time no matter what I tried. And uh, But on thicker stuff, it was about the same as using a dry electrode, but I still choose the dry electrode though. One thing I did notice is even though it was insanely smoky, it was slightly less smoky than using a dry electrode. So, let's come over here take a look at the 14 gauge. This is the cut I got. You can see where I was, you know, stabbing at this piece of metal and trying to restrike like every other second. And uh, because of that, this is a lot rougher cut than the already pretty rough dry electrode here. On the 316s plate, there's not a whole lot of difference it looks like. That's obviously with the wet electrode. This is with the dry electrode. I don't see that much difference there. And then over here on the big 3 ace plate, this is with my dry electrode. Still pretty messy, but I think the wet electrode was even messier. So you know what? If I were if I were cutting something up to scrap it out here and I had to, you know, cut it with a stick welder, I would probably use a dry electrode. Now, with all that being said and done, let's come over here, try out some of these fancy schmancy cutting electrodes. Hobart stick cut and chamfer. Okay, so front panel gives you some information and I read this uh, sticker here. I read the majority of the sticker and for whatever reason you're only supposed to run this between 100 and 160 amps and you can run it on whatever clarity you so choose and so I'm gonna do this at 160 amps just uh, you know just for the sake of going with the sticker and if there's any of these electrodes left after I get through all three of those pieces at 160 amps. I'll crank it up to 225 just because that is what I ran the 6011s on. So with that being said, let's give it a shot. This is a $2 electrode plus sales tax, uh, whatever that is, wherever you live. So let's give it a shot. Hmm. That was pretty much the same as the, uh, <laughs> the 6011. At least that's what it felt like. Um, it's a little bit better, but not what you'd hope it would be for, you know, the price. And now we're just going to come over here and crank this welder up, 225 amps, and we're going to burn up the last two of these cutting electrodes. See how they compare to 6011s at 225 amps. So I just tried to film some uh, under the hood action on this 3 ace plate, uh, but my camera wouldn't focus and I'm now out of these electrodes, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, what are my thoughts on these cutting electrodes? They're absolute snake oil. Uh, running those things, it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. I made, <laughs> I made this video to, um, to just try these out, so I'm really not disappointed or anything. But would I buy these again for a project? Hell no, that was awful. They were just, they were awful. They smell bad, they cut no better than uh, running a 6011 at high amperage 
they're just oh it was they're terrible terrible like roots uh so yeah this was total junk i would not you know honestly i feel kind of bad cutting down hobart products because i do have two of their welders which i absolutely love i have a bunch of their gloves which aren't as good as the welders but the welders are great and just toss these in there where they belong but this um those electrodes oh they were awful my, my shop is filled with smoke uh, to their credit, they are slightly less smoky than the 6011s, but for the price, no, not worth it at all. Um, if I were going to cut something with a stick welder, if I were, first off, don't expect it to be a clean cut, because we got nothing that even resembles a clean cut. Uh, you'd have to do, at the very least, a lot of grinding to get anything we got here anywhere close to being ready to weld. And um, just these electrodes, absolute, absolute rubbish. Um, but that's uh, off topic. If I were going to cut something with a stick welder, if I had some scrap or something, I'd take some regular Hobart 6011s, I would crank my welder all the way up, and I would just have at it. It's messy. Don't get your head in the smoke. I tried that once when I first came out here to experiment with these, uh, like today, whenever, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes ago. And, uh, and I actually had to stop because there's so much smoke going into my eyes that it stung. So if you're going to cut with these, get your head out of the way, crank your welder up, and uh, just buy some 6011. Don't spend your money on those cutting electrodes. They're an absolute total waste of money. But uh, maybe some other company throughout the course of history has made better ones. I don't know. But the Hobart ones, just don't. Just, <laughs> just don't. So anyway, that was my uh, review. I don't like making negative reviews, to be honest. I like to get some out here and say, oh, this is so cool, but I can't do it to those electrodes. I, I just can't.